Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about RetroArch, a whole bunch of emulation front ends, Sega Arcade Diaz for Windows, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about an emulation front end, Console Launcher, and Console Launcher just got a brand new update. At the time of filming, version 92 is already available on the Google Play Store, and we've got a whole bunch of bug fixes and some brand new features, like they've added a button here to reset custom titles. They've also built in a brand new web image selector, and arguably this is probably one of the biggest things, a massive loading speed up. If you haven't checked out Console Launcher, it's available right on the Google Play Store, and you you can feel free to check it out. I'll drop a link in the description below. Moving on, and we're talking about yet another emulation front end, Ludo, and Ludo just got its first update of 2023. Ludo is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. For those who may be unaware, Ludo is a minimalistic front end developed by Libretro, the folks over at RetroArch. At the time of filming here, version 0.16.21 is the latest version. This one isn't a huge update, but they did bump up the RetroArch cores. Ludo is free, it's open source, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. And speaking about Libretro and RetroArch, next up we're talking about Libretro and RetroArch. RetroArch has a brand new core called Dirk Simple. It's a laser disc core, it can play games like Dragon's Lair and also Space Ace. If you wanted to see it in action, I'll drop a link to Libretro's YouTube video in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Next up, we're arguably talking about a lesser known emulator called Supermodel. Supermodel is a Sega Model 3 arcade emulator. It is free and just got a minor new update. If you are curious about this one, I'll drop a link to the website in the description below. They also have a compatibility list, and if you take a look at it, not everything is compatible but some stuff does play. And speaking about compatibility, next up we're talking about DS4 Windows. If you've got a DualShock 3, DualShock 4, or DualSense controller, you might like this brand new update that DS4 Windows has for you. So version 3.29 has just dropped and they've got a whole bunch of bug fixes and some other stuff. For example, they've added in DualShock 3 support using the DS HID mini driver. And they've also added in some more DualSense Edge input support. DS for Windows is 100% free, it's open source, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Moving on, and we're talking about another emulation front end, LaunchBox. And LaunchBox got an update a couple of days ago, I might have missed this one, so we're covering it now. LaunchBox 13.2 was released, and there's new platform icons and an achievements overhaul. In my opinion, the achievements overhaul is particularly interesting. It's not just retro achievements, it's also Steam and GOG. All of your achievements can be displayed in one place. As for the new sidebar icons, there are 240 of them. If you're a premium user, you can customize them to your heart's content. And speaking about customizing, last up here, we're talking about a Linux distribution, Vanilla OS. And it appears that Vanilla OS 2 is going to be using Debian instead of Ubuntu. At a high level here, basically the Vanilla OS team did not like Ubuntu's customized GNOME desktop environment. And they also didn't like the fact that Ubuntu was not using Flatpak and instead using Snap. So these were some of the reasons that Vanilla OS is deciding to switch to Debian. If you wanted to check out the post in more detail, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It is worth pointing out that Vanilla OS 2 is still in development and they haven't communicated a release date just yet but this one is pretty interesting, and I kind of agree with their switch. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.